how do I pick what's both important to our company goals and to our customers? Hey, Robin. So glad to hear from you here at the Workflow Hotline. How can I make your workflow more efficient today? Aaron, how did you know it was me? Don't worry about that. How can I help you? Well, you're right. Now that I've got my feedback in one place, thanks for that again, I understand what our users want us to improve on. But now I've got so many ideas that I'm hitting a new challenge. How do I pick what's both important to our company goals and to our customers? So what you want is to be able to say, hey, I've got this feature and it impacts this customer feedback, but also here's how it moves our company goals. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Ideally, I can say, here's a feature. We've prioritized it because it impacts this company goal, addresses this feedback, and the team felt that it was the easiest way to accomplish that goal. Also, would it be too much to ask if I make this roadmap shareable across the company? Never too much to ask. That's why we're here here at the Workflow Hotline. So I'm hearing three things that we're going to work on during this chat. First, how do we align across company goals? Second, how do we prioritize the right features based on those company goals and the feedback we've gotten? And then third, how do we share this new roadmap internally and externally so everyone can rally around it? Let's jump in. Let's talk about goals. So we use the objective key result framework, OKRs. We have company level objectives, each with its key results that we track progress against. Usually we have a doc where I write everything down, but it gets pretty stale. I want to connect each feature we work on to which objectives and key results it moves. Objectives and their related key results sound like a new type of information you want to track. Every new type of information means a new table in your base. Let's go ahead and add all of your key results organized by their related objectives. Every record here is going to be a key result, and I'm going to add a drop down single select for which objective it falls under a relevant quarter, an owner. Then you can group by that field to make it easier to see everything. Let me ask you something, Robin. Is this something you think other teams at your company might use? Totally. Sales, support, marketing, everyone's got OKRs. So if multiple teams have the same OKRs, they may have their own Airtable base to track progress against those. In that case, we should have one base with OKRs and sync from there, such that we have a single source of truth for OKRs, and any updates to that base will be synced across all workflows. So Robin, go ahead and fill this out with the rest of your OKRs. All right, moving away from stale docs towards live data is a win for me. But how do I kind of put it all together? How do I get a prioritized roadmap with features tied to key results and customer feedback? Right. So when you think about it, features are actually a new piece or type of information we want to track in our base. New type of information means new table. So let's go ahead and add a features table with a code name for the feature as you do before. Let's give a description of that feature and then give it you know, a status where it is in our pipeline. Now, Robin, I'm sure you have a bunch of ideas from the feedback you've read. How about you go ahead and add a few in now? Easy, here are a few. And from here, what I wanted to say is we're tackling this feature because it's tied to this key result and here's the customer feedback we've gotten about it. Right, you want to associate information across tables. Now it's important to know that Airtable bases are relational databases. What that means is you can associate information across tables using linked records. Now let's tie everything together in your base. By adding a linked record to objectives, I can see what key results are associated with each feature. And I can do the same for associating feedback to each feature, giving you a complete picture across different tables. So with this, I can tell key stakeholders, leadership, or cross-functional teams, here are the five features we're working on for this key result. That's right. And I'm sure your gut is good, Robin, but I feel like your stakeholders will appreciate that extra visibility and make it easier to track progress across OKRs for yourself and your team as well. Absolutely. So one more thing. You want to talk about prioritization, right? You are very good at this, Aaron. 
We can't ship every feature. And so to decide what we work on, we rank each feature based on received effort and value. Low effort, high value are the ones we like to pick off first. Right. And so perceived effort and perceived value are actually pieces of information you want to track across each feature. So I'm going to go ahead and add those as new fields to your table. And you could prioritize your low effort, high value by sorting this view. Now at the top, you're going to see your low effort, high value. And this works for this framework, but there are a bunch of other frameworks you want to use. Maybe you want to give points to different features. You can add fields for that as well. Or maybe you want to track effort and value across different teams, say the design team or the engineering team. You can also use that by adding new fields. I feel like the mix of all of that together, knowing which objectives it moves, the feedback it's related to, and the effort will make it easier for me to pick the right feature to work on. Absolutely. And that's what the workflow hotline is here for. So at the beginning, you said you wanted to share this roadmap. Yeah, let's dig into that. So right now, folks are very much in the dark about what's going on because we don't have a single source of truth on the roadmap that we can share internally. Can I just share the table we just built with the team? Yes, you can share any view you create. Let's say you want to share a Kanban of features you've committed to. Now, anyone coming to this link can see an up-to-date roadmap. They can even share it with clients as well. Any changes in your roadmap will be reflected in this shared view. So your live roadmap becomes your internal roadmap. If you want to give stakeholders something more comprehensive, you can create an interface with dashboard elements and a full view of your roadmap. Folks can come and see what you've delivered and what's coming up in one place. And it also updates based on any changes in your roadmap. That should give everyone a really clear view of what's coming. Internal alignment also means that we'll be sharing the right information to our clients. A clear and shared roadmap is always key. Hey, Michaela, how's that hold music asking folks to subscribe to Airtable's YouTube channel coming along?